It's a moment of truth now. Let's see if the forest is going to start again. Goodness for that. It's been expensive, but it's repaired. So this is the diesel fill. Time to do the unboxing now. Got a filler cap here. Some extra pieces. It's got nice recyclable cardboard packaging too. Okay, this is ready to install. Basically, the smaller petrol nozzle doesn't touch these little four tabs on the edge so you need the bigger diesel nozzle to push these tabs on the edge edge in to allow this flap on the back to open first things to take this cap off take the original cap off And then screw the new one into here. Watch out for the notch. Make sure it joins up with the notch here. Put that guy on there. So this bit stays in permanently and you've got the new cap. Just simply take that off and only a bigger diesel nozzle will fit in there. Next thing's to get rid of this. It's a bit fiddly to get the old lug out, you have to use a big screwdriver and just sort of force it out. You end up breaking the old lug there but they give you another one so they give you a, a new one in the package Just push it through the hole in the new cap and then just there's a hole here, push it in there. It's much easier to install the new one. That just attaches the new cap to the car. So in a forester I can dangle it in about like that. while I'm filling. So this tightening nut's got to stay in the glove box just in case. Cool, it doesn't go in. So I'm glad this petrol filling saga's over now.
guitars fixed up so petrol nozzle can't be inserted. Can't believe it's happened to me, but it can happen to anyone. So I urge you, if you've got a diesel, get one of these diesel fill devices. There's a link in the description about who makes it. And don't forget to subscribe, as usual. Catch you later.